Today we're playing a religious science game. Yes, you heard right, a religious science game. If you want to learn more, stick around. If you want to get good at Civ 6, subscribe and click the bell to keep up with the channel. Okay, so I know it sounds counterintuitive, a religious science game, but bear with me. It's actually a strategy that a Chinese gamer came up with, and it's super powerful. He used it to earn a science victory on DD in Gathering Storm in 161 turns. That's fucking crazy. Um, so if you just stumbled upon this video, this isn't a first in our series. We're kind of going along and explaining things as we go, but I'll put a link. It'll be in the top left of the screen for you up there somewhere or top, top right, my top left. Anyways, uh, to be a link to the start if you want to catch up. Otherwise, we'll do a TLDR here, quick version. We're building a religion. We're going to use that religion to focus and help get our faith generation up because we've just secured a golden age here, as you can see. And we're going to go ahead and we're picking a monumentality golden age here, which is going to give us plus two movement for all builders. And it allows us to purchase civilian units with faith. That means builders, settlers, and traders when we want them and as well as all that good stuff as it is it also makes your builders and settlers 30 percent cheaper to purchase with both faith and gold so that is definitely the one we're going to go for we'll confirm that now so as you can see here our faith generation is a little bit lacking in this regard because we want to get magna settled in and get masonry over here in order to chop out the stone and put it towards the pyramids so that kind of slowed down our faith a little bit however we're going to be ramping that up and it will be skyrocketing like nothing here what we're planning on doing is as soon as this city's at four population we're going to be building a government plaza here in our second city we're basically going to be chopping every single one of the forests and rainforests here except for we're going to save two forests and i'll explain that later um, and we're turning we're going to turn all that production into settlers to go out and get our cities as quickly as we can so that hopefully we can do a crazy land grab and grab some of this stuff here before we get encroached on by our enemies so speaking of getting encroached on by our enemies here i just noticed that they've hong kong has been so nice assholes and sent a warrior here so hopefully that works out for us if not it's not the end of the world i'm sure there'll be more barbarian camps here i'd much rather get no air score than to have already pushed our era score even that much farther past where it already was in the previous era. Uh, as I already mentioned before, you always want to, once you secure your golden age, you want to minimize the amount of era score that you get afterwards because you're essentially just flushing it down the toilet and it makes it that much harder for you to chain your golden ages, which is a big part of what we're going here. Um, we're ideally going to be able to chain golden ages all the way from now that we're in the classical age all the way to the Renaissance era because those are all the eras that you're allowed to use this monumentality dedication. So in a perfect world, if we're able to do it, we'll be able to buy settlers and builders and, and whatever with faith the entire time all the way to the end of the Renaissance era. So cross our fingers here. <laughs> Anyways, uh, now that we've headed into the other era, let's go ahead here and find our other scout. We want to wake his ass up before I forget and we'll start exploring because we had him on pause we didn't want to discover any more natural wonders or anything so we'll get him going as well as the same thing with the scout down here I think at this point though oh sure we'll take the delegation I forgot nice she's sending a delegation too which means is she friendly oh not quite but we're getting there we're getting there <laughs> okay nice so it did work out here they didn't end up killing the Barbarian, so let's go ahead and take that out now. That'll be a nice plus three area score. Plus, I'm pretty sure that was our third Barbarian that we've killed too, so we should get the boost towards bronze working. And there we go, so that is nice. We definitely need that to start chopping some of this jungle shit away. Ooh. Nasty, nasty Barbarian. I'm glad that just happened to be looking over here. So we will definitely not be going towards that banana anytime soon. Let us come take a step back over here. Meanwhile, I just noticed that Mansa is friendly here. So let's go ahead and declare a friendship. We want to do that because uh, ideally we'd like to stay peaceful. Now, I don't think Wilhelmina's gone quite that far. Uh, 
Let's give it a shot, though. Oh, fuck yeah. Right on. See, there you go. Sweet. So, I, I didn't think that she would, would accept it because she was neutral, but I guess our relationship was close enough to being positive that she did. But this is just amazing for us because what that does is essentially it's locked down our southern border and our eastern border where they're completely peaceful. So now we can settle the shit out of all these cities that we had planned and not worry about a surprise attack from either the Dutch or the Mali. So there's plenty of land for us to run in and, and grab here. And this is just the strategy to do so. Now, okay, and so here's Korea too. Um, so ideally, in a perfect world, it looks like our relationship with her is improving too. I'm surprised because we don't have any science right now. And, and our if you check our relationship, uh, normally she hates... See, and we haven't triggered her agenda yet, which is surprising. So maybe we'll get lucky and be able to declare a friendship with her too. <laughs> there we go. Sweet. So I'm completely surprised because I, uh, she dislikes she dislikes civilizations with low science, and we clearly have low science at this point compared to everybody else. So that is very surprising. But we will take it all day. So now we have officially secured our all three of our borders, and we are just completely safe now we'll keep all three of these people locked down in friendships the entire game and we are off to a great fucking start all right nobody cares about a storm we oh yeah that's old news or no oh no we must have done something else we whatever their other quest was it must have been kill the barbarian cap that would make sense so okay nice that's awesome that means we got another envoy over there uh, which means we're the suzerain because we haven't used our mysticism envoy yet, so that is nice. Saves us a little bit. So let's take a look and see if we can get Baloney. Okay, so this will work out well then. Baloney's quest, and they're right nearby here. They're just down. Oh no, that's Geneva I'm thinking of. Oh, Geneva wants us to send a trade route too. So where's Baloney? Up there. Ooh, can we... I don't think we'll be able to reach. That's probably quite far for a trade route which is a bit unfortunate. It would have been nice to be able to send that. However, uh, we'll send one to Geneva if we can't make it to Bologna and um, at least get the plus one science, or plus two science, sorry, in the capital. Now, I'm not worried about a cad at all, and this is because I want to fucking kill them. Um, they have a great location in here with mountains all surrounding them, and they're a military city state that's not gonna help us anyway. So what I'm gonna be looking to do here, although we're gonna play a peaceful game, it's still obviously in your best interest to have some sort of defense, especially to use against barbarians and whatnot. So what I'll probably plan to do is get a few archers up and uh, a warrior or two and look to kill them if I can before, before they get swordsmen, but if not, that we'll have to do it at some other point in the game uh, because they just have prime territory in there and it's just such a shame to <laughs> watch it go to waste. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's take a look here. So we finished Holy Site Prayers in the capital. We're going to go ahead and start work on another builder. However, I will not be finishing this builder because we'll wait until we finish the pyramids here in this city, so let's go ahead and do that. We're going to start work on the pyramids. And now, oh, <laughs> I forgot to remove the improvement. I guess I could have done, done that ahead of time. Would have been a little bit faster, that's my bad. In the meantime though too, we're gonna get this, uh, this builders headed up as quickly as he can to head towards that forest so we can shop it. And meanwhile, it looks like the barbarians here uh, Sorry, it looks like there's a Barbarian Scout that's impeding our way to get that goody hut. We'll go ahead and smash him, but that's actually good news for us. That means that there's another camp up here somewhere, so there's probably three more Aeroscore we can go grab. So we'll get our warrior friend here, who has just killed that one, to head up that way and have a look. And we'll make a pit stop in the city to heal up before we move on. Uh, but with that being said, well, let's go ahead and smash this guy with our scout. And now, 
I'm going to turn this scout onto automated exploration because I don't really care at this point what he does and he'll, I'll let him do his thing. However, I am going to continue to keep this scout on man. I'm going to manually control him uh, because we already have this scout over here that once this douchey barbarian gets out of our way, we're going to use this scout to come explore up here and there's no need to have this one go back and do the same thing. It just makes more sense to be... Uh, efficient with our scouting and keep him moving forward in this direction towards the east. Sure, we'll take your delegation, why not? I still can't believe that we've secured friendship in all three. Mysticism. Alright, so we got mysticism here. Let's take a look. We do still want to keep our policies in exactly the way they are. So we're all good with that. We'll go ahead and just close out of it. Meanwhile, our scout here, we're gonna we're gonna keep manually controlling this scout. However, I'm gonna put my other scout onto automated exploration down here. The reason being is that uh, we'll go ahead and put him on automate. Now, the reason being is that we have this scout over here, and he's gonna continue to explore up here for us, as we already talked about. So let's go ahead and grab this goody hut now. Ooh, sexy, we got a builder <laughs> out of it. I couldn't have asked for anything better. Oh my God. All right, well that worked out really well for us. Now, what I am gonna do though, is I'm gonna hold off. I'm gonna hold off on chopping this until we can get Corvée in here. So let's go ahead and we'll start work on a granary because eventually we'll want to um, them to grow anyway. So we'll head over here, we're gonna harvest that. So in the meantime, now we're going to cancel this builder since they have a second one here. We don't need him to come over for the chops. We'll pop down here and, ooh, actually we'll pop up here. We'll harvest the wheat, which will bump us to four population and we can lock down our campus. So we'll go ahead and remove the improvement and next turn we'll harvest it. Okay, so in the meantime, we've got an animal husbandry now. So speaking of campuses, let's head towards writing. Now, let's take a look too and see what sort of quests we can get, because I haven't actually looked through this, I forgot to. Normally I check it out as soon as the era starts. So construct a campus, we'll definitely be getting another one in Cathokia there. Uh, Baloney wants us to send a trade route. Akkad, I don't even care about, because I'm planning to kill them. <laughs> but anywho, uh, Hong Kong here train a galley, so that's not anything we're going to get anytime soon. However, Geneva's nice too. They're both both science civilized, or both science city states uh, are, have nice easy quests for us to take care of. They just want us to send a, a trade route. And then Brussels actually has a nice easy one too, train an archer. So we should be able to get quite a few free envoys, which is nice. It's always in your best interest to get as many of those quests taken care of as you can, as long as you're not going too far out of your way. Like, I mean, for instance, we want those uh, science city-states, however, if one of them was like, build a fucking encampment, I'd just be like, alright, peace buddy, like, I'll just, <laughs> I'll just send them the envoys we earn from civics rather than completing that quest, because there's no point until later in the game if you want to try and take advantage of the aerospace, or sorry, the, the policy card, that there's a military policy card that boosts production of space projects by 15% if you have a military academy in, in there but I don't think it's worth it to be honest it's just not that big of a boost for the investment of production that you need to get to, to build the encampment and then build all the different fucking buildings all the way up to uh, military policy or up to military academy which is the last building in the encampment tree anyway uh, we're gonna head into craftsmanship right away here meanwhile it's almost a, it's a shame that we did remove that feature I don't want to waste the build charge though so we are not going to improve that again. However, yeah, so we'll basically just stay put at this point. Um, and we'll put the builder to sleep for now. Alright, so that barbarian warrior is still being a pain in our ass. However, let's go ahead and purchase a slinger here. Uh, we'll go ahead and chase them off that way. It's pretty damaged anyways, and with any luck we'll be able to get our kill on them, which will give us our boost towards archery and actually save us a little bit of science. So I'm more than happy to spend uh, gold in order to get some science. 
Meanwhile, though, our scout has <laughs> definitely opened up a can of worms there, so we want to make sure that we're getting our warrior up there as quickly as we can. Uh, meanwhile, we'll go ahead and escort the builder. Hopefully they'll come towards us, but either way, we're not worried about it. We'll just walk out our builder so that we can improve the plantation here and increase our gold income there. All right, let's go ahead and chop or chop harvest the uh, wheat here. This should bump us to four population, which means we're ready and waiting for writing to finish so we can drop our campus here. Well, I suppose we need to buy the tile for them first, so might as well go ahead and do that now. That way I don't forget about it and spend the money. Actually, the more I think about it, that was a screw up. I should have saved I should have saved that for this city. So I will. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna drop our campus up here beside our holy site. It's safe from the mountains because it's two tiles away, but it's still connected with two. So it'll be a plus two, plus three because of our holy site. But then we'll plan to go ahead and put a theater square for us right here as well because then this will be a plus four, right? One, two, three, four campus. This will be one, two, three, four, five, six. This will be a plus six holy site. And then this theater square itself will be a plus four theater square. Yeah, plus four theater square because it'll get two from these two districts. And then it'll get two more as long as we can get the Apadana there like we're planning to. So that should work out a lot better and it saves this tile here for, so that this city actually has a decent campus as well. Not to mention if we take things a little bit further <laughs> and really plan this out here. Hold on, I want to see if, does the Oxford University have to be controlled by by the city haunt? Uh, it must be built on grass on plains to it. Campus did. Ah, perfect. All right. So it, it must be built on grass under plains adjacent to a campus district with the university. It does not have to be controlled by that city. So that differs from the Great Library, I believe has to be the actual city itself, uh, Great Library. Blah, 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 Must be built on a flat land adjacent to a campus district with a library. Oh, maybe not. Okay, so neither of them have to be controlled by the same thing. But yeah, okay, so then going forward then, we could drop the great library here and Oxford University there later in the game. I dream big, okay? Don't <laughs> don't hold it against me. Alright, so let, let's see how, how we go here. Let's keep going. Okay, let's go ahead and harvest this. It'll boost our population up, which will help us produce even more, so that's good. Now we want to save our two charges here, so we are going to vacate the premises, especially if uh, the mountain decides to spew all over us, that way we'll still survive. Meanwhile, here with the scout, we're going to keep a respectful distance away from our barbarian friends, and we're just going to heal up there uh, and wait for our gallant hero, the warrior, to come save us in his shiny new buckskin. Alright, we got another meet. We got Spain up here. So let's go ahead and send him in. Oh, don't have the money to send the delegation. Uh, will you pay us for our borders? No, because he's pissy with us, so we need to try. I guess there's not really much we can do at this point. Oh well. I guess Spain's just going to be a little bit pissy with us since we don't have the money to send him a delegation. That is just fine. He's so far away from us and we have the Dutch in between us anyways. As So I'm the furthest thing from worried about it. With any luck, we'll eventually improve our relationship with him and if not, so be it. He's too far away to be of any real concern to us. Let's go ahead and continue on here. I was just going to say, oh, it looks like somebody stole our attack, but they ran away instead of suiciding onto them, so how how nice of them. We're going to go ahead and unlink uh, the units here. We're going to send the builder onto the next tile, and we are going to take the bonus to archery. Now, 
Nice. All right. If you're enjoying the video so far, do me a favor and take a second to hit the like button. It goes a long way to help a small channel like me get discovered. Better yet, leave a comment on here. Call me an asshole if you want to. Any engagement helps. Anyway, let's get back to what we're here for. So, we don't have open borders yet, but let's just go ahead and scout the outskirts. I will try and send him a delegation, although he probably won't take it. So, I might just pay him for open borders at that point, or... But I need to save money to buy this tile anyway so we can get our campus online, so scratch that. In the meantime, we have one charge left here. Since we are going to be waiting so long anyways, it doesn't hurt anything for us to get some more production in the capital. And we'll go ahead and build a mine. It's going to be a little bit before we get this city set up and running, so we might as well enjoy the, the boost of production until then. It's definitely worth a builder charge in my opinion, especially considering we're about to have so many of them. Speaking of which, I totally forgot to be buying them. Um, I'm going to wait to buy builders until we have the pyramids, it just makes sense to do that. However, it does make sense for me to go ahead and buy a settler. So which city do we want to settle first? I think it makes sense for us to come, come beeline straight here and settle this city right here. So we're going to go ahead. Ooh. We're not going to buy it in Okayama because... Oh wait, actually, you know what? We're going to have that on. No, I want to get that government tile. I was having second thoughts. We're going to go ahead and buy it, um, buy the settler here in the capital. I know it kind of defeats the purpose. We were just talking about getting our campus online. However, um, we'll put them on a food focus now and it shouldn't be too many turns. You have only four more turns until they grow back. Uh, so meanwhile, we are going to get this settler to head over there as quickly as he possibly can. And this builder can go to sleep. Meanwhile, we'll actually start putting turns into the pyramid now. That granary can wait. So Peter wants our diplomatic favor, does he? Well, we're not going to give it to you for that fucking price, I'll tell you that right now. Writing is easy. Okay, so we are going to get rid of some of that diplomatic favor now, so let's go ahead and talk to Peter and see how much cash he has. Nice. Uh, we'll take open borders. We'll pay him for that anyways. Um, now, in the meantime, we are going to go for diplomatic favor and oops, see what he'll give us. Let's try 80. 60. No. Okay, so you will do that. Let's see, 55. So it looks like 57 is a magic number, so we'll take that. Thank you very much, sir. Now, as you get closer and closer to the medieval era, they will pay generally more for diplomatic favor because you could actually start using it for stuff in the medieval era when the World Congress starts. Uh, in the meantime, we will take that all day, so that gold gives us exactly what we need so that we can buy this tile before I completely forget about it. But like, um, oops, I guess we still need 17 more gold, so that will be fine. We still have a few turns here anyways until the city grows again. Meanwhile, meanwhile, let's take a look at our science and see where we want to get going. now. We want to make our way to education fairly fast. We also want to get towards printing fairly quickly as well because this is uh, Forbidden City is definitely a wonder that we are going to be chasing after it. Having that free wildcard policy pays off huge with this strategy. It, it's just a nice wonder in general, but especially with this particular strategy, it's very powerful. So um, with that being said though, I think what we're going to do is to head towards apprenticeship and education. And this is because it will give us more time to work on the Eureka's here. Like we have completed, oh wait, actually, you know what? I'll take bronze working first and then we'll, we'll go towards apprenticeship like we're talking about. And that way, this will reveal iron on the map. It'll give us some extra production if we do happen to have iron in our empire. Uh, and then we can sell off that iron in order to increase our gold income. So I think it's worth uh, taking a six turn pit stop, not to mention it frees up 
us up to completely customize our landscape here as we start to buy more and more builders with our faith. Uh, we've earned our great profit, so we'll go ahead and grab that now. All right, so we're going to keep scouting here. We're saving our money, so I'm not going to bother uh, doing the open border thing. Well, actually, I guess I could always see if our relationship has changed any, if he'll pay us, but no, he won't. You know what? It's three gold. Fuck it. Three gold isn't going to make or break us. We still have to wait two turns anyways to hit 100, so it makes sense for us to just go ahead and grab that now. Meanwhile, we will go ahead and get the plantation up there and then have him head back to the sheep. Now, we're going to head have the slinger head out and head towards here just so that we can make sure that there's no barbarians or anything that are lagging around there. This is a little bit of a pain in the ass that this city is not going to start with our religion since our holy site is not online. So actually, you know what? We've already secured the religion. I'm going to actually have our great prophet wait until we get the holy site up here and then I will we'll, uh, spread the religion. Or wait. Well, well, we'll play it by ear because we want the religion in place before we found the, this city anyway, so we'll kind of have to take it as, a, as we go and see. Hopefully it won't be too long here. Okay, so we'll take an extra turn to heal up here in the city. Yes, yes, nobody cares, Peter. So we got craftsmanship, which is nice. We are going to go ahead and change our policy cards now. Actually, you know what? I was going to put in a goad so we can start um, getting some discounts toward our units. However, since we're headed up to dealing with that barbarian camp, I think I'll leave discipline in for a little bit more. We're going to be getting our unlocking the state workmanship or soon anyway, so we'll leave it where it is for now, um, or state workforce, not state workmanship, but anyways, so we'll, in six turns, we'll do that, so you know what, we'll just screw resting, we'll head, we'll head up, and we'll move over here and rest, instead of resting in the city, so that way we can keep moving, we wouldn't have been able to cross the river there anyway, so it just makes sense to do it that way. Uh, meanwhile, let's just keep following the coast up here with the scout. And our great prophet will go to sleep for now. And I forgot, and we let the builder build. Alright, well you can't play perfect all the time. That was my bad. I definitely would have wanted to hold on to that barbarian since we're so close to getting the pyramids. However, too late now, so we're one turn away from getting our population where it needs to be to start work on the campus, so we'll go ahead and grab that tile right now, so we're ready and waiting to do so. In the meantime, uh, we will take said builder and move across the river so that we are ready. We'll chop this rainforest here and put the production towards the campus to help us go that much quicker in the meantime uh let's start in the meantime let's start work on a slinger we need to get a little bit of, of an army up for defense here and it's best to take advantage of the cheap production on slingers they're only 35 production to make and it's much more efficient to to build your your slingers and then upgrade them to archers so i want to get at least at least four or five because i like i said i, I would like to take out a cad and uh, I definitely need archers to do so. Ideally, I'd like to kill them before they get swordsmen because that's just become, it opens up another can of worms that I don't want to deal with if we can avoid it. However, because we are on DD difficulty here, your city states start with a city wall, so that's a little bit of a problem for us, but we'll have to get, whatchamacallit, we'll have to get a battering ram out in the near future when we, we go towards them. So, anywho, we are 
quite a ways away from growing here. We, you're gonna put them on a food focus though so we can grow as quickly as we can. And this will help too when we're headed over here, we're gonna build a, oh, I guess it won't help. <laughs> it's, I always think it, it makes it a three, three tile, but it's a plus two, plus three tile. So we'll go ahead and do that. In the meantime, we're gonna start on We'll start on a granary because it will help them grow with the extra bit of food and then the increased housing capacity as well. Uh, now with our scout friend here, we're going to keep going. We'll skip the turn so we can sink the point into, into the campus next turn and we're going to keep coming closer with our warrior and our scout is good to just hang out where he's at for the moment. The, the Barbarian Camp hasn't been triggered. We actually did well. Uh, the, as you can see, the scout doesn't have an exclamation mark over his head. So that means he hasn't discovered any of our cities yet. And this camp will not start spawning until he does so. So we have done it well, I guess. Like, I'm sure they can get out over here. I'm not sure why he hasn't gone to the east. So it'll be interesting to find out. In the meantime, we'll just hold out here. And now we're gonna go ahead and drop our campus. So we will, oh, we don't have bronze working yet. Okay, never mind. <laughs> we'll put that builder back to sleep for two turns until we get bronze working, which will be nice. And meanwhile, we are three turns away from state workforce and corvée, which will help us get the charges we need. Now let's take a look here. We don't want to waste any production with our, so we're gonna get 67. <laughs> don't, don't laugh at me too hard. I've literally started to play Civilization with a fucking calculator on my phone now. Okay, so I gotta, gotta figure this out so we don't waste this here. So it's 67 production times 0.5 for Magnus equals 33.5 plus 67, okay, so that's 100.5, then times 0.15 for the 15% bonus from Corvée equals, that's 15.75, so plus 100.5. Okay, so that's 115.5 production from harvesting this stone. And it'll be a little higher than that actually too once we discover state workforce here. So let's take a look how much production do we have left. Uh, so 115, so 220 minus 61 equals 159. Okay, so 159 minus 115 equals 44. Okay, so that means we are not going to, we are not gonna chop the forest. That would be a, a waste of production because if you see here, Harvesting the forest is 54 production plus Magnus would be like another half of that. So 25, 27. So you'd be up to like 70, 81, I think off the top of my head. 81 production for that plus the 15%. Whatever, fuck it. This patch has just made it crazy to come up with calculations. But anyways, so it's totally a, a whole bunch of wasted production. So what we'll do is we'll come down here and we'll actually chop the rainforest tile because as you can see here, it's gonna do 27 production. So then that, we'll take that 27, oops, that 27 production and then times that by 0.5 is 13.5 plus 27 equals 40.5, which is exactly the amount of production that we need in order to finish it. And I mean, it will be a little bit of, of waste because we have to, we'll have that uh, Corvée card on. So, will actually be getting like 46 production but anyway that's much better so what we're going to do is switch out of pyramids right now because otherwise we're, we're just completely wasting our time it doesn't make any sense whatsoever to do so so now with that being said where are we planning to put the campus here because we can actually get started on that um 
Hey, if you found this video helpful at all, I'd really appreciate it if you took a few minutes of your time and shared the video with anybody you think it might help. Whether that's directly in a personal message on Facebook or in a Facebook group, on Twitter or Reddit, it's all good. It would really go a long way to helping a small channel like me get discovered. But whether you do or not, let's get back into things. I'm just thinking here, I mean, this would be a nice campus spot right here. I don't know if I want to risk the constant irritation of having to repair it from Mount Fuji erupting all over the place, though. I wonder if we're better off building it here. You know what, I'm gonna have to think about this, but I wanna try and keep these videos a little bit shorter. I'm, try I'm aiming for around 45 minutes or so. So I'm gonna put a cut in here. I just wanna say thanks for watching. If you have enjoyed it, do me a favor and leave a like on the video if you haven't already. And better yet, sound off in the comments below. <laughs> Call me an asshole, I don't care, whatever. If anything helps a small channel like me get discovered, I'd appreciate it. But I'm gonna shut up and I'll see you in the next video.